True View Podcast. A bunch of different views. <laughs> The boys keep it real, man. I really like listening to them, man. They funny. Yeah. Son. You know they really speak their truth. What the hell was that? <laughs> year, year, year. <clears throat> what it do? Oh. Huh. What the business is, y'all. What's good? Oh. So spicy, but so good. It's your boy, Mel. Ah! Shit, he got in my eye. It's your boy, Mel, and we back at the... God. Oh, we back in the building again, bringing the barbershop to the box office, man. Two View Podcast. Ah, oh, damn. Two View Podcast, y'all. He on them high flaming. Hello. Oh, damn. Hello, everyone. And for my brown brothers and sisters, Kumo and Stas. Oh, shit. I am the I am hyphen X. <laughs> to the podcast. Wow. you to my guy. Man, they just forgot to mention one thing, man. You can't have no flame of house without the nacho cheese, bro. But uh, oh. y'all know what it is. It's your boy, so I'm in the building. We in the building. We finna get to it, yeah, man. Okay, see. You see, the nacho cheese is from the heavens, though. That is the niggas' mm. juice. You see what I'm saying? The, the, uh, the evolution. Once again, thanks again for tuning in. Uh, this is Grown Man MJ. I do appreciate each and everybody showing the hell back up. Uh, so, just want to give my thanks and appreciation. And let's get it, fellas. All right. Yeah. Um... Let's get it. Cheers, gentlemen, to a good episode. God damn, this is cool. <laughs> that made it hotter. That made this shit hotter. Oh, um, yeah, God damn. Woo. All right, man, what are we getting into today? Well, flaming hot. What is flaming hot, you might ask? Well, this is what I tell you. This is inspired by a true story of Richard Mon- Monta- Montanez? 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 Montanez. 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 Richard Montanez. <laughs> Who? As a Frito Lay janitor, oh, disrupted the food industry by channeling his Mexican heritage to turn flaming hot Cheetos from a snack into an iconic global pop culture phenomenon. Flaming hot, baby. Woo! Bag almost gone, man. I'm coming up short on this one. First short bus is I'm sure your boy Mel did not need any excuse to bust open that bag of flame eyes. You hate me. You hate me. I did know. I did. I actually had to hide this from everybody. Oh, wow. Yeah. Because <laughs> flaming hots do not last in my house. Wow, the whole house. Yeah, yeah. that's any it's any house, any black house. Even the babies. Even the babies, man. Um, that's that's a short bus to me. Like <laughs> I feel like that shit hit the urban community way harder than it hit any Mexican community before beforehand. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe I'm tripping, but I just don't. But, like back in the day, I just don't remember seeing it. I don't think I really. Yeah, I, I, I think it was many so other folks the, the region, the region that they were in. Okay, southwestern, That's fair. southwestern region. Touche. That's fair, LA. But I did feel like that too. I, I always thought like 
you know, the niggas made that. Damn. <laughs> like I always felt, like, I always felt like that was our snap. It sounded hard. Right next, what you said. right, right, right next to the pickles with the fucking peppermint in it. You we know what I'm saying? I thought it was all black culture. We had and the chili and, 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 and yeah, just yeah. I was gonna say back to what Zoe said about the nacho cheese. You know what I'm saying? That is a uh, uh, a nigga element to the flaming hot. But she in the hood right in the ground beef too. It was yeah, yes. Exactly. yes. It was one of yes. the other though. You was either flaming hot or you was hot crunchy curry. You know what I'm saying? Right, same mm-hmm. concept. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The the vintners, whatever that company right. is. Right. Yeah, business baby. They recipe ain't the same no more either. But yeah. Like, yeah, I don't think either one of them is the same no more. Like, <laughs> uh. I was gonna I was gonna save it for the look at me, but like when they tasted it and they was like, oh, whoa, 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 this is hot. I remember I, I remember the earlier flaming hot yeah. being a lot more oh the yeah, spi- yeah, yeah fiery the on the spice. Because you'd be like <laughs> Yeah. You <laughs> and I think that's when Hot Crunchy Curls started to win when they changed it up because Hot Crunchy Curls was always hotter than the flame hot. Yeah, they were point. sizzling. They were sizzling. But they ain't says let no more that shit. Whack. But either way, I didn't find too many shortcomings with this man. Me neither. Um, yeah. Me neither. Do you feel like they had to start with the early part of his life when he was like a real young dude, or it, that yeah. necessary? Or I appreciated the yeah. journey with them doing it. Yeah. yeah, I didn't. It wasn't too much short. I said most of my most of my shit gonna come from the look at me. But yeah, and I think I think with. What you just uh, asked, Mike, I think it was necessary with how everything correlated uh, from, you know, early, the early part of the film to the ending. I ain't mad at it. No, I just didn't. I was just trying to search for something like, like what Mill saying. It's like you, you're scraping at the edge, just trying to find out, you know, trying to figure out if anything is uh, necessarily a shortcoming of the film. I thought overall it was rap well okay. with comedy, rap well with comedy, rap well with the love story, rap well with a uh, story of family and pride and all of that other stuff. You know, I mean, it had a lot of elements in here that I think make, came together naturally. Well, if I had make sure if I had if I, if I had the nitpicks because you got to say the right pride though. You mentioned pride, is the right pride, oh, like family, uh, family pride. Like, well, yeah, or yeah, pride for your name, family yeah, pride. Yeah, yeah, I think he had more pride for his name than family pride. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I can see it, but I, I, one could argue that that's one and the same, though. Okay, the way I'm saying it may sound like it's one and the same, but what I'm trying to say in saying that he has more respect for his name, like the legacy mm-hmm. of his name. Lineage the, of his name. Okay. When I say in the past. versus family, his his family unit was kind of broken. Like you didn't get a lot of clips yeah. of his mother in here. Uh, his dad was abusive, and yeah, he was, a uh, he was yeah. yeah, he was kind of rebellious towards his dad. You know, throughout the whole thing. There you go. That that I guess that could be a, a shortcoming. Then they didn't. Uh, well, they didn't address the mother too much, but. Well, that's how it is in those households. You have to understand those early households. Like she was just there to bear children and make tortillas. You know what I'm saying? She Watch was in the saying. background. Watch what you're saying. Watch what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, in the oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking, it, it's it's that time period. I'm talking about the time period. You know what I'm saying? I'm Back just, I'm just like messing that. with you. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's just how it was. But if I had to like straight and make. And, and, and maybe five something, I would say that I was mad. I was kind of upset. I never saw a scene with him, you know. What I'm saying full cholo, you know what I'm saying, like with the shades, you know what I'm saying. I didn't, I didn't, we didn't get that, and I would have liked to see that one time, you know what I'm saying. If I had the yeah, to dive all the way gangster. Yeah, like if I had the, if I had to like nitpick and find something, that that would be it. Maybe they could have shouted out the barber that cut all of the, the cholo homies' uh, heads because most majority of them was bald headed. I was like, all right, maybe. And maybe. then the one dude who had the hair, like, we're, like I would like to see him outside with the hairnet. You know what I'm saying? Like that was the style. You know what I'm saying? Like that was the style. Shit. But outside of that, man, 
I mean, if I had to nitpick, that's nitpicking. Yeah, you really had to look for something to nitpick, I guess. Look at me now. Good job. Look at me now. Oh. And like I said, like that would have been nitpicking, but overall, this film was amazing. Like, I was really, like, Mike asked the question earlier, like, did we have to die back to uh, his childhood? Yes. We had to see how he developed as a person. You know what I'm saying? Like, he always knew he had it in him, but it was never unlocked. And man, it's 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 one thing to be successful, but it's another thing to have a have a good woman who just believe in you and push you towards that. Like he had a great foundation, you know what I'm saying, with this woman. You know what I'm saying? Ah, this and then like Mike said, like he uh he cared more about his legacy than family. Cause it now it started with him. You know what I'm saying? It starts with him. Like he is making a foundation for his family. So I understood exactly what you what you meant by that. And I could really relate to him, like really just going an extra mile, having an idea and believing in something. And just because somebody else don't see it, you know what I'm saying, doesn't mean you should really cloud your own vision. You know, ten out of ten I will recommend. Oh, shit, plug a book. It sounded like you was plugging a book or something, man. Like, damn. Um, <laughs> I definitely agree with you. Um, I know for me, that's part of the film that uh, you know, I really gravitated towards. Um, you know, just having that that uh that that lady figure in your life, um, your significant other, you know, what I'm saying pushing you, um, is is not like it, man. And, um just the aspect of, you know, having that positive outlook, you know what I'm saying, in life, no matter what you're doing and, uh, you know, really pushing for your next. Am I sound like somebody I'm giving who my, sees uh, the you, Somebody who sees the you from within that you haven't really exposed to yourself yet, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You know, I sound like you're behind my, your uh, exterior, yeah. My rewatch and recommendation and shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> no man, I really enjoyed the pacing of this. Um, yeah. like it was right in the pocket, like perfect. They gave me just enough of the background. They gave me just enough of his conflict that he had to deal with, and they gave me like enough time on on the back end. Like it, everything was perfectly placed. Um, the acting was. Off the chain, like I felt like nobody was was being dragged along in the scenes. Like everybody was standing their ground, holding their own. I didn't really see too many shortcomings or or like people that was just like, "Damn, man!" Like you just you got the paycheck. Like these motherfuckers was really there acting. They was doing their thing. Um, shout out to them, like embracing and putting the culture in the movie as well. Like what they did with the intro music. Uh. You know, oh, that was fire, dog. Like, it was the music in this was fire. like the scoring was per like everything was just it, it was phenomenal, man. It was very well done, uh, very, very well shot, very well acted. This was a good movie, like, man. Like, man. to piggyback off what you're saying, man, like about the pacing of this, like, I like that scene where like all those years passed. And then it came all the way back around, and he was like, and I'm still at the same spot. I was like, damn, this shit cold. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, yeah. The, yeah, like, yeah. Like, I'm, like, I'm like, this shit is cold. Like, it was like every pay, they paid attention to detail on this. You know what I'm saying? Like, they got into the crevices. Like, I, I, like, even I'm thinking of when you said all the acting was good. And nobody like just came along for the check. The first person that came into my mind was Hector. You know what I'm saying? The uh, the motherfucker he was with uh, with the teaching him to be a janitor and shit. You yeah, know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Like like even him on his little parts. Like I'm like I know a nigga like this. Like <laughs> hey, I've worked I work I work with one of these. Don't talk to them, man. We not on a level. What is you doing? They out of your mm -hmm. league, man. <laughs> that got told. To <laughs> They out of your league, nigga. Like, all right. No, oh, man, it was just shout out to Eva Lagoria, bro. Um, she yeah, that's what I was going next. That's what I was going next. Uh, man. debut directorial, like that. The yeah, directorial, the goddamn, I said that shit back. Directorial debut. Got there you. we go. Um, but 
man, to come out the gate swinging with this. Oh uh, yeah, bro, bro. I'm looking forward yeah. to whatever she does next. Like I wanna, I wanna see if she keeps up this momentum, man. And and shout out to her, bro. Very well done. Is it uh like black, cheat code? Black is and brown cheat code? I was I was gonna say, is it a cheat code doing the uh biography true story? Oh. I don't know. You said Chico doing a what? A true story, not having to come up and create a story. Like no. telling the truth is a lot easier than telling a lie. Not necessarily. It's a lot sexier than telling. It was, I, I, gonna make I, but it's it's almost a little bit more challenging because you're taking someone else's story, and now it's your job to uh, make that story pop. You know what I'm saying? To be shown to others. You know what I'm saying? So it is still it still has a challenge to it. You know what I'm saying? Well, a degree of difficulty. I think that's easier from the outside because there are certain points where you know how to embellish and things like that to make it easier. But if you have the bones for a complete story where you know the start to finish, I think that's a cheat code versus having to create and come up with something that's completely original that uh, a lot of audience haven't necessarily been uh, privy to. Even yeah. though this is I'm, a story that, I, I, that I'm not going to call it a cheat code. I'll call this, it two this, different this is story original points. story at the same time. I'm sorry. Right. Yeah. No, yeah, I'll, I'll just call it two, two different starting points. Yeah, two different starting points, but there have definitely been a lot of movies that were true stories that have flopped hard as fuck. And oh, yeah. the way I'm the King movies, man. man because they can't get the shit right. Like that that be the problem. We know the start, we know the end to that. And a lot of people like it's 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 I think it's more so the attention to detail, um actually being of the culture and uh representing that correctly. And then, you know, knowing what you're doing behind the camera as well as in front of the camera. So I think she if anything, she holds a vantage point of knowing what to do in front of the camera as well so she knows uh when she's behind the camera how she actually wants that to look and how she wants that to translate so that in itself could be a cheat code but with it just being the true story i don't think so just a question i ain't mean, more no shade yeah uh, but i like i i love the relationship between clarence and richard you know what i'm saying like he went to him you know he's like i know somebody helped this nigga get to this position you know what I'm saying? Get here. So that's right. <laughs> yeah, yo, like, boy, I, you can get there. I can get there, Holmes. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and you're gonna help me, my bro. But like, and he came to he came to him real nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, game, well, uh, you it, on Carter and Sada, or you want the <laughs> the bean burrito? Well, like. I, I think I think in a lot of those time in those time periods because that was it was through the early '90s. Uh, when this was happening, a lot of that was the kind of ex- explosion of you know Latin culture, you know uh, Mexican heritage that was pushed into the United States was going on during that time. The low rider, uh, all of that, man. Low riders, you know what I'm saying. The Taco Bell was going heavy. Everything, home. all of that shit was going hard. <laughs> you said the Taco Bell. Uh, but what I'm saying is, I think it was like accurate for or that time cool. period like they had to they had to kind of you know they're like they showed the hierarchy and within the plant mm-hmm. i thought that was accurate i thought him having yeah. to go through clearance to you know kind of get his knowledge and uh gain all that information at that time you know black and brown relations as as hyphen was pointing out it was a lot more uh unified Versus now where we kind of see ourselves as separate classes and vote mm-hmm. to our own, you know. Yeah, stand off us. Uh, yeah. We, we vote to our own gain and everything else. We don't necessarily vote mm-hmm. to the gain of of, 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 of taking over of our own. Yeah, vote. of the collective of the people. But uh, anyway, I think, it, I think that part of the movie was definitely accurate. And uh, I even like how it showed that Clarence did not necessarily get promoted until this, the plant did well off of Montaigne's <laughs> his, his genius ideal or whatever of putting the flaming hots together. And I could have swore that was a black snack, dog. I promise you. I did too. 
I did too. I I, I may need to go back and do my research. Um. <laughs> Real talk, <laughs> man. Because uh, the corner stores didn't miss out on that first run. The corner stores that we had didn't miss out. Man, and we yeah, had putting extra hot sauce on them joints. Y'all motherfuckers are acting like uh, Jay and hip hop because he swear Jamaicans created everything. Um, what? Hey, don't do that. <laughs> oh, not that was too far. That was a line. Damn. What? Damn. Damn. And I, I love the um I, I'm gonna go back to I don't care. The Richard and Judy's relationship, man, the way the way she stood for him, the way she oh, had his back in a and and the way the way she the way she corrected his father in front of him. After she went behind his back though and talked to his father. No, no, that no, that's not going behind his back for real. No, I for thought real. it showed. That's just going, I, I that's going to your uh, father-in-law to help your son out, to help your husband out. You know what I'm saying? That's not no, going behind. I, I thought his it back. showed. Uh, like I felt like I knew these people. I thought it showed an authentic Latin relationship. I thought that. Yeah. It came off very authentic. It was no, like a uh, pull and tussle. You know what I'm saying? Between the actors struggling to make shit look actually, you know natural and and have a dynamic on the screen i thought that shit came across very well oh man no they definitely you can see the connections and everything involved in all these actors if you want to crown them then crown their ass well i am going to go ahead and crown uh annie gonzalez um she was cold man cold i was i was kind of right there with you but now i'm gonna pick somebody else that was that's a good one uh, That's right. My definite runner up is Emilio uh, Rivera, only because I feel like he's the new go to Spanish guy for everything. Like, it used to be that, uh, oh gosh, the guy that played in uh, Mach- Machete, I forgot his oh, name. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It used to be him, but now I feel like it's, it's uh, Rivera now. And I, I enjoy him acting, though. I, I think he has great range. Um, he can he can even play goofy stuff. He can play funny stuff. He had like he just he has a very good range as far as acting, and I think he did very well in this uh, as well. I rocked with Jesse Garcia in this. Uh, he gave me. Um, I know it, was, it felt like he was pulling from George Lopez a little bit with his chops. You think so? Yeah. I didn't get that. What I got what what his haircut and fucking shirt? Damn man. Nah, to me it was more his uh Chris. his delivery of riding the line of being serious and comedic, like in one. I could see that, but I know somebody that acts just like him. Hmm. So he's like he's very he's extremely relatable. And I like I think he I think he pulled that character off. But no, not for real. Like I said, I, I felt like I knew them people. I'm going to go. I like Jesse Garcia, too, but I'm going to go with Dennis Haysbert. Uh, <laughs> that awesome. My man finally got off that State Farm commercial, dog. I mean, he, nah, he's still on the State Farm. Or the All-State, the All-State the all state commercial. Yeah. I mean, you're in good hands with all No, nah, but I mean, this, I this gave me something that. that this, you no, know, this gave me something to see besides that, in, in my opinion. And that's why I'm going to put him in there. Uh, and I'm gonna also go with the honorable mention of uh, man, it's hard for me to go between Matt Walsh, who played uh, Lonnie Mason, and uh, Bryce Gonzalez, who played uh, yeah, Shorty Steven, Scott. yeah, Steven Montanez, yeah, yeah, he did a good crossover from like social media to the big screen. Uh, talking about talking about Bryce Gonzalez here, mm-hmm. like. Mm-hmm. He did, he did a really good job. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I'm not finna. I, I, I'm just gonna pick. I'm going back to Annie Gonzalez. I can't help it. She did her her character was just so defining to me. You know what I'm saying? And that was and then Je- then also you know Jesse Garcia as well as my runner up. You know, just that dynamic, that partnership, man. I it was fucking beautiful. It was the way this was like Mike said, like they were authentic. 
Like, I believe they go together. Like, if they show me a picture right now with them dating, they think real people, I don't feel like they cheat on each other. Okay. Like, I'm like, that's fucked. Like, that's fucked up. You got a fucking family. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that <damn> man. <laughs> like, you know, like, about, uh, Tony Shalot that played uh, Roger and Rico. Right? Mm hmm. What'd you all think of him? Oh, what did we think? Oh, I think he played his part very well. Yeah, I was gonna say he did it. They I, again, I don't feel like there was a clown in anywhere. Like even the kids. Uh, if I had to give a clown, I was gonna oh. give it to. Uh, I was gonna give it to dude who got him the job or any of the any of the goonies. Yeah. Why that that, that was real? Just they was... played their part exactly how it was. Um, hey, bro, you ain't supposed to be over here doing that. What is you doing? I got you this job. My name on the line, too. Yeah, you, if, yeah if, you, if you mess up, they're going to come after me, bro. Why, you can't be talking to these people. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, we just keep your head down and work, fool. You know what I'm saying? Oh, let Holmes come out and talk to you for a minute. The fuck are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> What, like what about the things. friend that what about the friend that was in the plant that was at, at the machine? I can't remember his name though. He said at the machine. He met him, he first met him when he walked up to the machine and was asking about the curls. That was his homie? Yeah, he I met him at the job. Alejandro, I think it was. It, that makes sense. Yeah, what about him? It was it was just kind of thrown in there they were cool i mean oh the head the, the heavy set nigga yeah 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 but but it's bro that's a workplace like it's people like that for real like <laughs> yeah I, I mean like 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 y'all said it's really not nobody to, to right really if you have, if you say, just if you have yeah. these are stereotypical characters that i think you get in most films mm -hmm. that uh didn't necessarily necessarily add a dynamic to this film to make it anything special. That's why I would put him in the clown right Okay. Now this is arguable. But where the white dude at? What's his name? <laughs> the plant manager that's, dude. Where he at? That's, Lon that's Lonnie Mason, Matt Walsh. That's oh. Lonnie Mason. Okay. All right. Like yeah, I thought he did straight. No, he, he did. was funny. Montana, yes. <laughs> Hey, my favorite part with that motherfucker was like uh when he got called. You don't know, you he was like, You don't mind, do you? And I'm like, this nigga in like true white man fashion, he was already opening the door, sitting down in the car. Did nobody even say yes or say no? <laughs> oh my shit is when he got that phone call, that motherfucker ran with the with the got my mother, yes! got the, and I was like, oh shit. About to get us fired. <laughs> but uh Shit, man, let's go ahead and play a little game. If we had to rename this motherfucker, this great movie, this classic, what would y'all name it? It is everyone's favorite game show. Rename that movie. I'm going to rename this uh, Burning Up. Add some pickles. Ain't Ain't, ain't no wall high enough. Ain't no woman like the one I got. Nice oh, spice. Yeah. Uh -huh. You say nice spice? Nice spice. Not ice spice, but nice right. spice. Uh, burn so good. Dust, dust magic. <laughs> I like that burn so good. <laughs> Let it burn. Good, good burn. Good burner. <laughs> that good burn. Burn notice. I like that one too. Hot light fire. <laughs> fire like fire. Ah, uh, more fire. The more fire. <laughs> Blood fire. <laughs> Sipping uh, on some scissor. Spice Girl. Spice Girl. That might work. The extra, the extra mile. Hook a nigga up. What they, what they be saying? <laughs> Viva la raza. La raza. <laughs> 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 uh, 
<laughs> Hook me up with a job at Orderly. Hook Mi gente. me up with a job, <laughs> Mi gente. <laughs> I got the heat, Holmes. Chilly out. Yeah. Chilly out. I got the John Blaze. <laughs> I got the John Blaze shit for you. Everybody chilly. Put that dust. Mexican dust. <laughs> the angel dust. Yeah. <laughs> Just that whole process. <laughs> well, how they turn that sauce sprinkle, into dust? Uh, uh, sprinkle me, man. Uh, sprinkle, sprinkle. You got some dust. dust, dust. dust. I saw so my burrito, baby. God damn it. That's all I thought it was. I thought it came from hot sauce. I am not going to stunt. Crunchy good time for the culture. Oh. On the brown hand side. On the red hand side. Hey, 469. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, red bottoms. <laughs> Y'all already know. It's blood <laughs> No. <laughs> oh, shit. I like blood gang. <laughs> um shit, man. Sprink sprinkle me, man. I said that one already. I said that one and uh and that new chick that sprinkle sprinkle. Dad. That shit hot. Uh down in the DMs. I gave my spice. What I got Spice Girl. Uh, I got uh, trapped in the trapped in the closet. What? The he's a janitor. <laughs> <laughs> he was ready with that excuse. <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> hey man. <laughs> so fuck. <laughs> Um, I got that bag. <laughs> Moving on up, uh, Lower East Side. Oh, that's New York. Never mind. The flavor of love. I forgot what that shit called in uh, in Cali and shit. But it is the East Side of Cali though. Where them where the, where the Mexicans be running shit. The flavor of love. I like that. No queso. Crunching much. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said, it's, I remember what the shells did kind of look like that the cool ranch, the regular yeah, flavor. Yeah. Maybe, maybe some cheese. <laughs> <laughs> the sour cream and onion became prevalent. That nigga said, This much market share. <laughs> fuck, you, fuck you talking about. That nigga said, Did you guys know that we can get. This much market share. <laughs> Said that's his serious as fuck. Fix his jacket. Walked out. Give him what he needs. Everybody, everybody popped people. up. Hell yeah, yeah. Everybody popped up after that. But the crazy part about that is because that motherfucker watched his video. He wasn't listening to shit that motherfucker was talking about. He said, "Oh, see my you video." Saw my video. Oh, I'm that. I'm that nigga, ain't I? <laughs> Hey. <laughs> the Hall of Flame. Finger looking good. Hmm. For La Raza. Oh man, let's go and pick one. What we got? What's the running? What's in the running? What's the top? I like uh burn so good. Flaming hot cholo. I like that. Sorry. I just added cholo at the end. Like Cheeto. Flaming hot cholo. 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 That nigga's whack. Oh. <laughs> that shit was good. <laughs> that shit was good. If Joe wasn't asleep, he probably he would have agreed with me. That was good. I'm here. I'm up. He just he just woke up, guys. He said, he said that you said that bomb woke him up. <laughs> 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 All right, man. Let's pick one, man. Let's get yeah, yeah. 
this I like good. Burn so good. Uh, what you said? What, what was on earlier when you said Mel? I don't know, man. What I had? It's getting hot in here. It's getting hot in here. It's not bad. Damn, I don't forgot what I said. Flaming Sweat out. Money. Oh, you said burn notice. That's what it was. Burn, burn. notice. Oh yeah, I like that one too. Burn. I'm gonna try to have it, man. I ain't, got, I ain't got no best interest in this. Go ahead. Hell, was flaming hot the right name for it? <laughs> <laughs> they picked the perfect name for it. They ain't even... Muy caliente. Oh, goddamn. All right, Mike, man. What's, what is it? More hot. <laughs> what, what, what you say? What you say, hyphen? Or, I mean, Zo Hall of Flame, Burn Notice, or Burn So Good? Chili out. Uh, I say Hall of Flame. Hall of Flame. I like that one. Hall of Flame. Was that mine? I think I'm. I think playing. so. Somebody yep. said it. Yep, that was yep, congratulations. I finally got one, man. So the official True View rename for Flaming Hot is the Hall of Flame. It is official, guys. All right. And then the official True View score is. Yeah, man, it's a four. Man, this shit says fire, bro. Um, it's a four, I can't man. Brent pregnant, bro. Let's hit so him with that. God damn it. Well, I'm just gonna be clear that the flaming hot is no longer seasoned by McCormick. Let's just get that clear. Too shame. Right. Yeah, no. Uh, so I have put the flaming hot aside, but I would recommend. I would rewatch. <laughs> I do feel this is a good film. Uh, uh, Eva Longoria, shouts out to you. Uh, I think you got a bright future if you're gonna stay down this road with your uh, directorial style and storytelling. Yeah, oh, yeah, man. Ten out of ten, I will recommend. Ten out of ten. If you are a person that really like struggles with self doubt or self sabotage or anything like that, this is a great film to watch. This is a great film to watch. Uh, it shows about uh, believing in yourself and other people seeing attributes in you that maybe you have not yet seen, you know what I'm saying, but believe that you have and you do possess because other people tell you. So take the initiative and turn this film on and then turn around and do what it is that you believe that you're supposed to be doing. Uh, and uh, yes, I will recommend. It's a good message. And I will. We'll rewatch. True view yeah. approved. True view approved. This was a great movie. Thumbs up. Definitely rewatch it. I will definitely recommend this. Very well put together, man. Perfect package with the timing, pace, the acting, the capturing the time, uh, just sprinkling the culture within it as well. It was it was good, man. Again, uh, shout out to Eva, man. Congrats. Yeah, man. Um, I have to say I agree with everyone else. Uh, definitely was a great watch. It was an easy watch. Uh, something that wasn't uh, that didn't feel forced. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was done with taste, done with style. Um, I will be rewatching. It's something I see myself going back to. You know, whenever I need to watch something for some uh, creativity or, you know, motivation, I think it's a great film for that. Um, definitely recommendable. Um, yeah, they they snap. So it's like it's like that Ray Kroc movie without the question mark. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, oh, the founders, like okay. yeah. yeah, yeah. Like it's okay to feel good about this. You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> It's, it's a good film. No, nah, this is definitely one. It's like I was telling you, hype, and I was like, I felt proud, but yeah, I, I was like, like, yeah, this nigga made it, man. This nigga made it. Because in, hey, in real talk, I, I, hey, and like I told you, Mel, in uh, in, in pre production, for real, for real, real talk, the reason that we feel proud is because we see ourselves in this motherfucker, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, always going the extra mile, like, continue to push forward. You know what I'm saying? Continue to push forward and doing what you have to do. 
You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, write it down. Hold yourself accountable. You know what I'm saying? Do those things. You know, get right. Get ready. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stay ready. You ain't got to get ready. Man, this shit was dope. I was I, I left this film very inspired. And when your life feel like a test, you must manifest. And that's when you pick up Ooh. that man's book right there. That's what I'm talking about, man. Was that manifest your what is that desires by setting goals journal? What <laughs> is deep? Well, I'm gonna manifest y'all motherfuckers going over there to trueviewpodcast.com where you can like, subscribe, share, and comment to help us defeat that all powerful algorithm that's trying to hold a black pod down. And thank you for riding with us over here at the YouTube. Be sure to hit that bell for notifications, the subscribe button, and the thumbs up. Leave a comment. Drop in the comments something that you want us to review for you because we here at the True View Podcast know that your time is extremely precious. And if you wasted a little bit of that time watching a movie, why not watch us have a good conversation? Have you ever watched a movie and nobody else has seen it and you just waiting for somebody? Like, did you see the movie, dog? You just- <laughs> Motherfucker, that's what we're here for. We didn't watch it. Come on, enjoy us and have the conversation with us because we know movies often start great conversations. So let's get into it with the True View Podcast. That's T-R-U-V-U-E podcast.com. Let's get it. Let's go. Hey, man, do everything that Melly Mel just said, man. Follow us. Talk back to us. Let us know what was your favorite scene and how did you feel inspired and what what are you going to do going forward uh, after watching this film? I'll leave it to my guy. Yes, sir, man. And y'all already know what it is. You need any uh, music production, any audio engineering, man. Now y'all see the logo right above at the zomixing.com. I'm going to get you right every time, man. I'll let you, boy. There you have it. There it go. Another one in the books, gentlemen. True View Podcast. Y'all know what the hell we always say. Order the homes. Viva la raza forever. Yoga flame. Here much. Here much. <laughs> come on, man. That's it. I ain't even. Come on. Go we'll get your chip and watch some shit. <laughs> 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 Bunch of different views. <laughs> the boys keep it real, man. I really like listening to them, man. They funny. Yeah. Son. They really speak their truth. What the hell was that? <laughs> you're, you're, you're.